Hi everyone, my name is Enya and I am coming to you here from Loggerhead Marine Life Center with a special story time. So today we are going to read a book called A Day in the Salt Marsh. And I'm actually gonna pull it up on the screen right here so that you guys can follow along with me. And there's different sound effects and there's some awesome illustrations in this book here by Kevin Kurtz, illustrated by Conzie Powell. So we can go ahead and get started. A day in the salt marsh. The sun's coming up in the salt marsh and the birds respond with song. If you decide to stay a while, you'll see changes all day long. You can hear all the different birds coming in, spending time in their salt marsh area. Maybe a raccoon as it rustles away into the grass from the daylight. It's eight o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is really low. The fiddler crabs upon the mud are putting on a show. They wave their claws to the left. They wave them to the right. And if a rival gets too close, the crabs will start to fight. You can hear them. You can see little footprints in here from our friend the raccoon. How many crabs do you guys count? I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count ten crabs on this page here. Let's meet the next members of our salt marsh. It's nine o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is coming back. And on the muddy bank, you'll hear a quiet crack. A terrapin is eating. While resting on the ground, it bites into a snail's shell and makes a popping sound. Can you hear him popping that shell? It's 10 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide's now in the grass. The tiny periwinkle snails wait for the tide to pass. Clinging to the blades of grass, they climb without a sound, staying above the rising water to avoid being drowned. And if you follow our little paw prints here on the bottom, you'll see a little mouse. And here we have another bird in our salt marsh. Maybe this one's looking for some snails that it can eat. And this mouse here might be looking for some snails that it can eat. It's 11 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is getting high. Over in the tidal creek, a blue crab skitters by. The blue crab isn't picky and will eat most any dish. It even eats sea cucumber or a stinky piece of fish. We have our blue crab here. You can hear it running across the ground there. We also have our little rabbit chewing on some of the grass there, making those little chewing sounds, munching on some of the different foods that it can find here in our salt marsh. It's 12 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is rising fast. A gray fin breaks the water as a dolphin swims right past. Look, it's moving quickly, just like it's in a race. The small fish swim before it as the dolphin gives them chase. You can hear a dolphin there in the water. And the birds above it. The fish tries to swim away. It's one o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is very high. The grass is underwater and yet it doesn't die. The cordgrass drinks salt water as the wind blows it about. The leaves hold in the water, but spit the salt back out. We have all different kinds of animals in here. We have a bird here that might be fishing. Maybe skimming along the water looking for something to eat, like these little fish or maybe these insects up here. 
It's two o'clock in the salt marsh, a fish, small and tiny, swimming all around the grass with scales so small and shiny. The marsh is like a nursery where little fish can hide. They eat the food that's brought their way with each new rising tide. You can hear a fish underwater. You can hear a bird here catching a fish. You can hear a bird fishing in the water here. So all sorts of animals rely on the salt marsh for survival. It's three o'clock in the salt marsh and on and off all day, running, splashing, swimming, two river otters play. Two pups begin to wrestle, a game of one-on-one. -on -one. At first their mother watches, then joins them in the fun. You can hear them playing with each other there. Splashing around in the water, swimming. You can hear our great blue heron in the background there. You can hear a black bird in the grasses watching the two otters play. You can see our mama river otter here munching away on a crab watching her two pups play. It's four o'clock in the salt marsh and over by the tidal creek stands a gray and stately bird with a long pointy beak. The great blue heron waits quietly, but when it sees its prey, its beak hits the water and the fish can't get away. So it waits quietly until it's ready to catch the fish and then you can hear it try to catch that fish. We've got other kinds of birds here too. These are all sounds. You can almost think of them as a musical that happens in the salt marsh all day. And no two sounds are exactly alike. It's five o'clock in the salt marsh and the water's going down. Over on the muddy bank, a horseshoe crabs aground. It doesn't seem to move at all, yet if you look and smell, it's not just the live horseshoe crab, but just the molted shell. You can see the horseshoe crabs here. We have some birds looking for food along the bank. Some birds flying through. Maybe they're starting to head home. It's six o'clock in the salt marsh. The oysters no longer hide. They're out in the sunlight, uncovered by the tide. Oysters hold up the banks so the grass can grow and grass supports the food web in the Daily Salt Marsh Show. So like we talked about, all these animals here, these oysters, these birds, the grasses, they all rely on the salt marsh to keep them alive. The sun's going down in the salt marsh. The day is almost through, but if you're back tomorrow, you'll see other changes too. We've got our birds here heading home flying home for the night. They can come back tomorrow. Our otter here may be taking something home for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed our trip through the salt marsh here. I encourage you guys to go back through, see some of the sights and listen to some of the sounds that you can hear in the Daily Salt Marsh show. On the next page here, there's also a matching game that you can play. You can learn about the different animals that we went through today, and you can actually match them to what they are. So you can see here are our river otters. So they would match with C, river otters. And the answers are included on this page too, so it might be a fun activity for you guys to do with your family, your siblings, your friends. And you can pause the video at any point to get a closer look at anything that we did throughout this story time. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.